Hello, and welcome to Size of Thoughts, Conversations with the Alliance of History graduate students. My name is Jacob Glicklick, and I'm the producer of the show. The things you will hear over the next 50 minutes or so represent the views of Size of Thoughts, the people making them. All opinions and quotations in no way represent Riverwest Radio. They are the sole responsibility of the producer, guests, and callers. Riverwest Radio is not liable for any legal issues arising from the content of this program. So just to clarify, any police raids for you that result from things they're going to talk about should be directed towards Alliance of History graduate students and not good folks at Reverse Radio who are ignorant of the sedition that we are uh, you know, about to <laughs> utter. I'd also say that for, I, I think, the relative handful of people that are routinely listening to this live, which is even less of a smaller handful as well, since I think about a third of the, that component, uh, all two of them are uh, en route to Minnesota later today and will not likely to be catching it. But a few who are doing it right, I should say that I will be departing out of the state myself soon. So expect that for the next two weeks, the uh, size of thoughts will actually just be, uh, listen to a live will be repeats of previous previous episodes that thought were particularly memorable or just where I was uh, talking you know, in terms of even more than usual. I think that's my qualification for much makes it successful or not, whether how much I'm able to go on. Uh, but expect that starting January 8th, that we'll return with original content. Um, I will not be part of it. I'll still be at that point out of the country and uh, not likely not even able to call in effectively. But think that John Terry will again be hosting with some other grad students talking about hopefully the experience and frustrations at the American Historical Association conference. Um, and similarly, I think something we'll do in the on the January 15th and then uh, January 22nd. I'll be back rolling through with more of efforts to directly or indirectly tie anarchism in with every single thing that has ever happened. Uh, and, off, and off that, this time it's a bit easier than most. Uh, so I'm joined tonight by first-time guest, Andrew Cox. Hey, hey, I'm Andrew. Andrew, a friend, colleague of it, and for a brief time in, during June 6th, uh, cellmate. Yep, it. yep, in, in the bullpen. Yeah, interesting times. Uh, you know, in terms of hope that hasn't, you know, radicalized us or or, or anything. <laughs> Cle clearly, clearly, incarceration could have done, you know, done no nothing but uh, good and rehabilitation. Oh, of course. Uh, but off that, um, I mean, I think that there's a lot, you know, in terms of I think common perspective that we share, you know, mm -hmm. in terms of both into and after after experiences of of being arrested in June 6th. But uh, rather than that, I'm sort of more interested for tonight of exploring, you know, some some of the differences, particularly, I mean. We're both against capitalism right. and the state right. um, yeah. of it, but it's there's already like a wing nutty enough position compared to like the rest of the world or whatever. But yeah, um, but uh, but within that, you know, why not subdivide it, you know, even further? <laughs> um, but but I think I mean I think there is value in that. I mean I think that there's sometimes I think there's some of the calls for like why can't left you know just get together and link up is mm -hmm. mm, I mean not when there are crucial differences and not or not or not even when there are you know not trans you know in terms of fundamental differences but ways that see the world differently i think it's better to acknowledge that and i tend to see at least some of the like some of the anarchism without adjectives of like or like too much a little uh, sometimes a bit too much of like trying to group and like Erase. I mean, there's different trajectories. I mean, there's different continuities. Um, yeah. Even if at the, at the end of the day, you know, in terms of are all likely to be to to suffer the same, you know, in terms of repression or you know yeah. victory, perhaps. Um, but mm -hmm. so I guess off that, I mean, it seems that partly just we have in background of this. Uh, you know, in terms of, I mean, I come you know towards from a nar narco syndicalist position, and I think. Partly since was involved with labor movement and radicalized through given experiences, um, so I guess speaks more to own bias and run through than mm. larger issues. Um, but also, I, I still I mean see that as a useful tool and resource and like you know terrain for mobilizing sort of other people. So I, I guess had to, to summarize of it that I would see a you know, still an active revolutionary potential in labor movements and unions although a certain you know a certain kind of union uh, and yeah. cer cer certainly not the uh, vast majority that exists currently mm -hmm. um but again uh, from previously discussing with you that you're more skeptical of yeah more. i mean like i'm coming from a more like if you will anarcho-communist or like whatever um <laughs> I support more informal types of organization, or like, um, if there's an organization, then like, that organization will exist like 
for that purpose and then like could be disband or whatever and i kind of like see that as a more viable revolutionary tactic than say like syndicalism is i understand it is like very focused on unions right and um I, I think the union model like while we've seen its gains or whatever it's kind of brought itself as a historical phenomena hmm. whereas like we're we're seeing the downfall of unions and so instead of like maybe trying to cre recreate these like very formal like representative structures to like have us be represented towards management um we we would obviously still be acting as workers you know like that's that's kind of my position in the world you know i I'm a wage laborer, so, you know, we're, we're going to be organizing from that perspective, but not necessarily, like, to create a formal organization, because I think my biggest problem with syndicalism is my problem with representation, where um, unions are this thing to represent workers to bosses, like, they become um, a, a way of mediating conflict, and, of course, uh, you know, the syndicalists have been, like, literally revolutionary in the past um but i still think with the union model comes a type of like representative democracy uh, obviously not like we think of it but it, it is a democratic structure that is based on like having representatives that will you know meet with other of the you know unions in that federation or whatever um and so i kind of think you know that's my problem with it because i'm not really big on the whole representation thing i kind of think it'll always lead to um, falsehoods and yeah, I don't believe yeah, representation. Uh, it, yeah, I think that's fair. I mean, fair criticism. And similarly, I think that yeah, I mean, a fair you know distaste for leadership or for structures mm -hmm. that rely on that. I mean, and uh, yeah, and even well, I guess the revolutionary relations you know become veered you know towards um, you know toward, I mean towards the idea of. You know, in terms of direct engagement and uh, mass mobilization and like wildcat everything is as as much as possible. I mean, I, I, agree, I mean, I agree that you know, even, you know, even more you know, in terms of re revolutionary defined unions are perhaps more more susceptible to that kind of branding or distancing. Um, and, and I guess probably I'm assuming that we share kind of like a lot of similar you know, in terms of critique of most. In terms of labor organizing, it has existed in the United States, but I guess probably in terms of clarify, like where see like the core problems. I mean, is it would be a particular point for you that you think that unions like lost in terms of you know, relevance or or just or or, or like radically yeah, um, de-escalated? I, mean, I do think that they're less relevant, um, which is unfortunate because they do allow for not being harassed by management you know getting better wages getting benefits like these are great things and like i wish unions weren't on their way to irrelevancy but like as we've seen with like the scott walker crap you know like we we lost the fight and so it's like you know what did we do wrong was it you know i mean there i'm sure there are a lot of things from like the democratic party all the way to who knows, you know, weird outside circumstances. But um, I, I think it does go to show that, like, the because it was literally a, a union struggle, um, that method of organization, I believe, was, like, one of the reasons that they lost. It's because uh, it was, like, this. it became this very top-down thing. Like, obviously, we saw the wildcat strikes of, like, teachers, um, student walkouts, you know, things like that. But... Largely, it got turned into this like very top-down union bureaucracy says do this on this day, and like keep it nonviolent. You know, don't go in the streets unless the marshals tell you to go in the streets, or you know that, that kind of thing. Um, and so, I, I think it is like to me that's a problem of uh, form of organization. I think would agree. I mean, and I'd see. I mean, in some ways, it lost the Wisconsin, you know, struggle for labor because of how ineptly, uh, you know, in terms of, you know, labor's uh, de designated leaders were positioned. I mean, I, I in some cases go back to 1940s in terms of like when, and once you know, setting up uh, in terms of the acceptance of contracts and national labor relations board as designated means and the and the you know and these widespread signing of no strike 
clauses. Yeah. I, I mean, at that, I mean, that point, your or you know, the labor union is not is, is just throwing away its you know best tool and arguably only you know the, I mean the core of the core of what it ha what it has an influence. <laughs> yeah. in. And at that point, it becomes a matter of trying to, in terms of petition for you know, in terms of violation of contract, which you know. When get, gets into asking nicely for for people with power to give favors, which yeah. in, in, inherently is is never going to gain anything except like very minor, very marginal claims. Um, and and, by, and then so doing that, you know, set up ensured that the professional staff and the leadership of most unions would have more in common with the employers than with rank and file membership. Mm -hmm. So. So like, how do you see syndicalism like challenging that or whatever like within um the the union structure like uh what how do you see syndicalism uh either reactivating or renewing or um creating totally different types of unions that uh syndicalism would operate on yeah i think the potential is there i mean in part because that the model the crisis in that model and that sort of setup of the the idea of the in terms of appeal to government as neutral arbiter and you know having sort of gains to represent workers are so clearly disconnected i mean i think in some in some ways like the magnitude of the crisis of organized labor now and sort of the just reliance upon methods that are like very vividly, very unambiguously having diminished returns. I mean, it, it, I think, mm -hmm. I mean, no terms of own broader local, you know, American Federation of Teachers is still applying the same standard of attempting to vote in in terms of hmm. progressive Democrats as the yeah. as the only option, which, but also when it comes down to it, you know, vote in any Dem any Democrats, even, you know, avowedly non-progressive ones, yeah. uh, you know, as better than alternative. But I mean, that's... Uh, so I think in part there's I think there's a lot this potential to build off some of like the very clear very amb ambiguous fail failures that in, in um into to connect with like larger uh, disillusionment with electoral democracy um, I guess what it is to say you know, people through unique you know, experience of it have you know in terms of direct have, you know, regular workers see in terms of the people claiming to represent them uh, putting own you know, in terms of their ener energy and time and funding towards further you know in terms of even you know, even even more powerful mm -hmm. politicians that connect you know that shows um you know that that uh, that don't del that don't deliver anything in the end, and the situation gets worse. I mean, so I, perhaps over. I mean, generalizing. So that's partly the trajectory. You know, I went okay. through. Uh, yeah. Uh, most, most of that. Um, also, I mean, I think that there there still is power in like some of the basic idea of unions. I mean, that, that can be problematic because it means people accept and rally to, and you know, in terms. Of, I mean, even I mean, the lyrics for solidarity forever, or or more usually the chorus, and mm -hmm. and sometimes though the the lyrics as well get applied and redone even when they're defending you know quite corrupt quite in <laughs> quite ineffective structures but even within that i mean the i think some I mean, the basic form of that that will motivate people i mean even within wisconsin it was i mean labor has been sort of in decline for decades um and a bit mm -hmm. but there was a lot of I think fairly spontaneous support of, pe yeah. of, 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 people, of people mobilizing en masse, even for a in ineffective, out of out of touch uh, union that you know, in terms of had leadership, in, you know, make clear on like the first days that they were, you know, that the uh, that you yeah. might remember would accept a you know, increase in health insurance costs as long as they could keep you know dues uh, dues check off that preserve I mean, right. preserving right. the structure becomes uh, be, yeah, you know, be, be, became better than the just, interest of the workers. Yeah, yeah. it's just self-preservation which like uh, i kind of uh, i actually also think that's part of the model like when you have like um at least like a tiered type of union which like anarcho-syndicalism may uh your idea of it may be like unions where like it's complete direct democracy based or whatever but um uh, i think in any like grouping of people that is like based around like a very specific occupation and like these people have to communicate with others in um other occupations or sectors mm -hmm. or whatever um I, I think that relies on this sort of like representation and from that like that's like uh more hierarchical structure becomes created from that necessity uh to 
like have representatives communicate things so like i don't know what's what's your take on that like uh yeah i mean i guess in terms of uh enough affinity or connection with at this point for at least uh, the, the aspects of like the wobbly in terms of one big model one big union model or cross connections of it has appeal and also just because of the segmentation of like specific industries can you know easily just get highly grotesque i mean the Perhaps the best example of this is that the uh, Tanzir prison in Illinois, that in terms of a large amount of people in uh, solitary confinement, extremely abusive situation, terrible for local economies since it's, 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 it's reintroduction, uh, introduction yeah. of slavery, but uh, actually asks me in terms of defense it since the, the prison guards are organized uh, under under asked me, so they so they defend it as a good good as good position. Uh, I mean, it's pretty gross. <laughs> and, 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 and yeah, I think it's, it's, uh, so. There's some aspects of leadership that are uh, more problematic than others, but I think I would agree that a lot of it is inherent to subdiv subdivision of it. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, and so I'd certainly say, I mean, like de you know, defending the notion of a union of it. I mean, I think there's many of you know, sort of people in here, particularly areas of Wisconsin, where there is. A, a, I mean, a visible failure of other mm. of other tactics. So people who aren't, you know, entirely willing to just lie down, lie down and die, yeah. um, you know, I th I, you know, in terms of potentially have you know, availability for other for other channels and more militant ones, which also means in more militancy against their leaders. I mean, you might, mm -hmm. but, but I think that longer term, yeah, I mean, a thorough rebranding and a, you know, either abandonment or transformation to such that it would be you know almost indistinguishable from destruction of the current like union brands and labels that exist now mm -hmm. um but at the same time i, I mean i think that for the revolution revolutionary potential is useful but i think along the way there have to be some victories there have to be right. some there, i mean I, 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 I mean in part i mean i think that since, since it seems like you know in terms of the best tool of it it's still i mean still extremely you know, flawed and problematic but it has some offerings that other that other in terms of other branch of anarchism don't seem to speak to or as much and in part of the fact that yeah i mean that you uh, winning, winning something along the way even if it's transitory is is important okay. and, and i think that i think because it's you know because uh you know, yeah. Because labor uh, actions and strikes, you know, still in most in most circumstances aren't that easy to be, you know, in terms of answer to it. I mean, it, 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 it's still effective. Um, it, it, it's it seems the best way for like giving people like direct visible, direct visible. I mean, it's some notion, you know, in terms of striking of it for slightly increased wages, um, or in terms of you know, a slight improvement of work condition becomes futile in the long run since it doesn't address you know, since most mm -hmm. most current strikes of it that sort of happen that are you know are successful are not general strikes are not aiming right. at shut down of everything they have more immediate uh you know in terms of objectives that either i mean so that you know don't so that either way things you know in terms of get worse as capitalism continues and becomes you know more and more powerful uh, but it still seems that you know it, it provides both i mean symbolic and ex and immediate material you know, yeah. of, you know victories and i guess you know. to like kind of respond to that um i'm kind of like and this is the more like uh anarcho-communist side of me speaking or you know however you want to understand that but um so i'm thinking about like workers who hate their jobs hate their bosses but also like don't want to be part of a union for example um and i really actually uh you mentioned the iww and you're wearing the wobbly shirt um i think it's interesting that they're going around and organizing like starbucks and Domino's and like other fast food workers um because like you know having worked in a convenience store like third shift um i definitely did not like want to be there my whole life and i ended up yeah. getting fired like which was a blessing in disguise um but like a lot of my other co-workers you know they're all sorts of ages you know every age range um and you know we never even talked about unionization because we just hated our jobs so much we're like job protection wouldn't be worth it like getting higher wages wouldn't be worth it mm -hmm. we're working in the convenience store industry an industry that like shouldn't exist in the first place so it's like uh, kind of my critique on syndicalism is that um it 
actually might seek to preserve uh, types of really, really horrible industries like McDonald's. It's like, yeah, it, it's great that like the workers won't be getting treated like crap there, but like, you know, when the market or whatever decides that McDonald's won't be around, or when you know environmentalists start, you know, taking down the factory farms, like when will the workers in the syndicate decide to uh, give up their jobs and their income in favor of like something to me that makes much more sense, which is just getting rid of these industries completely. Yeah, I think that I, mean, I think it's a pretty uh, powerful critique that speaks to you know, a lot of it. That I mean, it becomes always the oh, yeah, you know the problem with more marginal gains. I mean, with, if, I mean, it, it, in structures that are you know sort of problematic. Um, I'd say I guess in part it's, it's it, it would I guess favor probably also I mean types of symbolism or type, the types of union militancy that you know. Do, uh, you know, are, not, are not necessarily incompatible with, uh, you know, in terms of the transitory, both in their individual situation or for workforce. That, and some, on some level, I mean, that learning, if you in the conditions of, you know, t at, you know absolutely terrible, broader, you know, more broadly, you say like un structurally sort of unnecessary, mm -hmm. sort of undesirable job. Uh, it's, I mean, with, within that, I mean, still, I mean, useful to, yeah, in terms of, I mean, gain as, mu as much as you can, but also to in that, I mean learn more connections with other workers and ways of of, of struggle of building common larger culture and that's what seems partly in sense of it not you know, not that you know, not uh, anybody, I mean, they're like guaranteed or like perfect model but it seems you know like less worse than other other variants of revolutionary minded standpoint of it is because I mean, capitalism people become so fragmented uh, that, I mean the quite the issue of just relating to other people in any sense it mm -hmm. becomes I think incredibly difficult and there's a lot of components within existing activism that sort of reinforce that and reinforce marginalization of it but uh, I guess on some level the fact that people generally hate their jobs and even, yeah. if, <laughs> even and, and, and even if they don't hate their jobs would tend to be able to recognize that yeah I mean the you know, position of the boss is you know, even if it's individually friendly, um, you know, it's, I mean, yeah, it's, in, in, terms of, in terms of building up a lived experience, it's not not as hard to see to see things that, in terms of it that uh, you know, like Marxist groups manage to you know vastly overcomplicate and ab and abstract to the point of meaninglessness. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but in terms of just how that's worked a bit of of who's benefiting from the system of of who's not, and it seems that some of the like, like common culture of work is seems more likely to you know be able to as a, as a as a common baseline that people can you know from widely even though there are different different spheres and immediate experiences can can connect with mm -hmm. as opposed to you know, I mean other i mean in some senses things like environmental in terms of erosion devastation are like even mm -hmm. are even more like fundamental but they seem to think they become like experienced you know in terms of so so much differently that most people it's still you know, possible to be like camouflaged as directly in some sense the advantage is that since in terms of capitalism is so rapacious that even in its you know already like terrible jobs even if they were running if running sort of efficiently and had a you know better paid you know sort of happy happy workforce would still be you know <laughs> contrib contributing to exploitation and devastation right. of the planet but you know, capitalism in sense is greedy enough to also like be squeezing those people as much as much as they can. Yeah, uh, it's kind of funny how that works. You, you think capitalism would try to save itself by making happy workers and things, but it's not really profitable. I, I don't suppose. Yeah. <laughs> and by local, yeah, the, it's yeah for the you know mid range mid range people of it who are not you know, who are, you know, even at their sort of most exploitative are not going to get into the true bubble elite, but you know, we'll still be yeah, a, little, a little, little, little bit uh, in terms of higher up. Um, so we'll have have a structural imperative to do that. And so I think that creates baseline for like recognizing a lot of common actions. I mean, I don't, don't in some sense, I don't want to say that there are other a lot of other powerful sort of grounds of it in terms of um, in terms of I mean, femi in terms of feminism certainly, or in terms of black power movements of movements of it, or or, or ecological consciousness. I mean, sometimes that yeah. that works. I mean, that sort of vision prevents people that are willing to, in terms of you know, lock themselves together as yeah. bulldozers. Uh, it, so it itself can be a pretty powerful ride of, uh, of solidarity. But I think that the basis of like of like 
you know, I mean, not necessarily always like shared labor in the sense they're working on a production line, of course, and like there has to, you know, has to be some, can't, can't just regurgitate uh, late 19th, you know, 19th century syndicalist theories mm -hmm. as if there haven't been some pretty, you know, significant variants. But I, I still think that there's a basis in sort of people recognizing how they are all treated, you know, mm -hmm. similarly and poorly. Yeah. Um, I don't know, that kind of, that last part makes me think of, you know, with the changes to the economy, I mean, we're we're living in America, uh, Wisconsin, Milwaukee, which, you know, is kind of going downhill, nah, lots of unemployment, stuff like that. Um, and so I guess that, what am I trying to say? Um, so with, with the changes to the economy, I, I think needs a, a radical new approach of organizing. For example, um, like I said, there's a well. Yeah, there, there's the service industry nowadays, um, which includes like the fast food workers, um, and you know, all, all, all low paying, of course, at least for the the part of the service industry that I'm talking about. Um, and so we're you know we're these workers. We're not actually producing anything. Um, we're just kind of standing guard to make sure customers give us money when we hand something that was like already produced and so it's like this weird part of the workforce we're like um we, we like theoretically and literally don't have control of the means of production we are like completely alienated from where these products that we're overseeing are made where they come from and then like where they go is also just like here's a piece of money that I'm being handed to put in a cash register or whatever. And so I think, like, considering, like, this new type of, like, very first world kind of thing, um, um, I'd kind of argue to just, like, abolish work in general. Like, you know, these, like I said earlier, these industries don't need to exist at all. And so instead of, like, uh, having unions or whatever for, like, each respective industry that, like, coordinates a type of economy or whatever. Um, I'm more for, like, a workshop model where, um, you know, within a neighborhood there would be, like, a place where, like, pants are made or a place where wine is made or whatever. And then, like, at will, when people want or need these things, they could just, like, go into these places themselves and, like, produce it which is to like reduce the alienation between them and like the product that they're overseeing or whatever. You kind of get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I, yeah. I kind of see like a more informal type of thing where people would just like do these things because they need them. And like, we would obviously intentionally set up these resources and like uh, do outreach to let people know like, and, and it'd be a thing that you'd like learn in school or whatever. It's like, okay, like today we take a field trip to see how pants and couches or whatever are made. Um, and so uh, I think instead of there, you know, with like unions and whatever, the, uh, you know, the workers are always doing the same task, or if not the same task, they're, they're workers working on the same product. Um, and yet they're consuming products that other people are making. So I, I actually think that is like a huge part of like alienation is that specialization. So I kind of, I'm kind of more towards the communist and syndicalist side in the sense that like, I think that alienation is something that like needs to be challenged and that anarcho-syndicalism doesn't like adequately challenge. Um, yeah, I think that's, I think that's fair of it. And I mean, I think that I mean, we even like agree like in large parts, I mean, as both as the or as, you know, attractiveness for as alternate, uh, you know, in terms of notion of society and, you know, community and collective and collective involvement. Um, and I guess I might, I mean, I think, I think somewhat at basis, I mean, I think that well work you know sort of has you know, has always been sort of, you know, sort of pro in terms of problematic of it i mean i i guess i would mm -hmm. give more there's perhaps more credence to the sort of notion that abolishing you know in terms of bosses as given or as a category mm -hmm. as a category provides i mean not not in itself magic bullet to fix it but also i mean the fact that even you know i mean theoretically in terms of like we sort of taking over in a given factories or in terms of you know restaurants or whatever areas of it i mean partly i think i mean as, as a baseline for like common community and for mm -hmm. discussion and for I mean direct democracy and you know actual 
you know, in terms of an, an, an actual, uh, you know, collective power also provides a way for people to figure that things out and to, I mean, yeah. and, 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 I mean, and, and to, re- and to recognize, um, I mean, in terms of what perhaps better things should be trying to do with the space, with this building, mm-hmm. with these skill sets that they collectively have. Yeah. I mean, you know, I guess as a, as a initial point uh, for, I guess, for the for post-revolutionary society as necessarily an end point. But yeah, I mean, I guess I'm not you know, trying to be sort of mm-hmm. dogmatic or get or too attached to any particular blueprint um, mm-hmm. because that you know, that's that's more what in terms of what hopefully you know people through you know, many many uh long-term discussions and and mm-hmm. and and debate and education in the you know truer, truer sense of it you know, in terms of hope able to figure out um i guess uh, and also yeah that's what I mean, but also i mean we also raise the issue of just you know effectiveness of it for I mean, fast, mm-hmm. fast food of it. You could say, I mean, certainly, in service industry more generally are things that you know, in terms of relied of on like distribution and repackaging yeah. and, and and sale of goods rather than the production of them. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I think that. I mean, in part, would I think see more value in that you know, would, would because um, it's yeah, I mean, it still has the potential to be to be meaningful. I mean, I think, I mean, the, the kind of like general strike leading to collapse gets probably fetishized uh, mm-hmm. too much and <laughs> made of it. I mean, there's, there's actually I mean, situations where in general strike, you know, our terms of done, but does not end it, does, does not uh, end things. And to, I mean, it's like, you know, simply that, you know, should, should have been even more general and brought entire worlds, you know, in terms of, yeah. you, know, to, you know, to stand still is not necessarily the best uh, setup uh, for that. Um, but, but I also think, I mean, just on a more like individual level or, or mm-hmm. into small groups of workers, I mean, the way that even from strikes, particularly, not just strikes likely to play out of it are, you know, similarly, I think one of them um, that, that do have immediate, uh, you know, impact on r- running of world economy. I mean, are well, I think are more likely to, you know, achieve, you know, in terms of at least temporary transitory gains, mm-hmm. and also in, in situations you know, disruptive that are, I mean, in terms of are likely in many cases to make some lines of power a lot more visible. I mean, mm-hmm. when. In terms of when police are used, when if National Guard are yeah, right. used, <laughs> yeah. used again. You'll quickly figure out who your friends are and who your yeah. enemies are. In, in that sense, it becomes a dynamic that people sort of recognize how, in terms of you know, terrible the system as a whole is. Mm-hmm. They jo- they rec- they you know find you know, bands of sort of connection and dialogue with other people in uh, you know in a good direct situated area of it. Uh, begin wildcat strike, mm-hmm. in terms of which in terms of you know is well i mean it's illegal in, in, in many places i mean well, i guess wild country has always become illegal of it um, yeah, and, mean, and and we'll have everything they have that, to be stopped eventually yeah. and it's usually the police or yeah. the threat of police yeah you know, and and the but, unions sort of doing as well, as well, union officials doing as much as they can do it yeah. so i mean so that in itself um seemed like a, 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 a useful way of like more drastically and visibly showing like failures of existing union structures mm-hmm. i mean see what see what happens when workers are actually trying to, you know, in terms of you know, putting everything on the line to, in a meaningful, impactful way, and then, and then I think at that point, see who, you know, in terms of basis of like who supports who supports them, who is brought against them, will do. I mean, does more than any uh, like all, like separate, you know, anar- anarchist uh, um, events or teachings or edu- or education to like show where the lines of power really are mm-hmm. in society. I mean, and and and. Again, uh, if yeah, if given you know, terribleness of conditions or you know c- commitment to uh, you know, collective action as workers, prevents a lot what we have it to sort of keep going in and I guess pro- and like yeah, it seems to give a very eff- effective like working understanding of how the odds are stocked against them, um, how that can sort of keep can keep going. Oh yeah, I mean like yeah. I definitely agree like exposing like contradictions should always be done um and it will be with happening with labor struggles you know just just as any other struggle there are like you know contradictions that it's like okay well when when we try to do this like from our position we are met with hostility uh, so on and so forth from like you know bosses or whoever it is that is like 
our position is against. So, um, yeah, I, I definitely like think that should happen. Um, it, and I do think that's like a very particular thing about like um, anarchism in general is like this constant exposure of like taking it to the limits and like seeing like how far like we can go to like achieve liberation, yeah. whatever. Um, although like with like the the specific like union model like in relationship to that um oh, there's a phone ringing sorry <laughs> distracted um with like with the particular union model um in exposing these contradictions i wonder that like like when when unions themselves will like turn into ways to manage workers um you know let's say like uh, the workers agree that you know, X many widgets need to be produced on a certain day. Well, it's like, w without bosses, like, how does that function? And then, like, do the workers just turn into a collective of people, like, bossing themselves? Like, it, I mean, it, it would be a union, and it, you know, might be, like, politically liberatory, but, like, mm -hmm. for the actual, like, um, in-shop relationships, like, how would the union avoid, like, being a union of like workers bossing themselves instead of workers um you know participating whenever they wanted to for like however long they wanted to with of course like people are going to understand like if if somebody needs a certain amount of widgets like nobody's gonna be like oh well like too bad for you like but then you know maybe if they do it's like okay well this person will have to like participate in the shop themselves so like, i yeah well, what's your thoughts on like uh um workers being their own bosses or whatever yeah i think it's you know extremely i mean difficult and like internally dangerous i mean the I mean, the, the notion for even the most you know you know like pure or like, you know, sort of wild you know, sort of wildcat you know collective involvement in, in decentralized involvement to you know particularly you know if still i mean surrounded by larger capitalist world uh, you know in terms of yeah, I mean, it, you know, tendencies, you know, in terms of towards just, in some cases, you know, like finding more efficient forms of exploitation um, are dangerous. I mean, since some the point of it, I mean, if, if assuming that there's like shared understanding and shared culture, I mean, it, yeah, I mean, it, the, mm -hmm. I mean, the danger is that like it won't be you know, in terms of the boss that can sort of rightfully see is you know hypocritical and mm -hmm. uh, you know and, and exploitative in doing it. But it's you know, but the thing that sort of you know, the, the social pressure and shaming that keeps you know, for like other other workers come on you need you need to be sort of doing this and sort of like keeping up on what we sort mm -hmm. of promise this otherwise letting us down. Therefore, I, I mean just yeah just in and of itself. Uh, unfort I mean it seems like extremely. I mean, dystopian and mm -hmm. alienating of it since, uh, you know, because of limited resources and overall position, you know, um, resets the need for like higher work requirements that are like inter collectively yeah. shared. I, I, yeah, I think danger for that is immense. Um, mm -hmm. but, but I guess I, I still, it still seems, uh, seems of it that, it's, I mean, this feels and provides, I mean, the basis for reaching a wider. Mm -hmm. Component of other ones. I mean, I, I mean, have a great deal of respect for insurrectionary anarchism yeah. of it, and for, and uh, I mean, anarcho-communism. That sounds of it. I mean, especially mm -hmm. insurrectionaries of the, I mean, the sense of like not, you know, being compelled to sort of like to wait or to build up, which, right. which can I think can be a danger, and even like in terms of very well intentioned, you know, in terms of astute, focused on, you know, in terms of the simplest method of it. There's the tendency of it to, you know, sort of meet and like build in with other people, and not necessarily do disruptive action or directly i mean i think i think, there, I think there's something that has to be for things so like no I mean, we have a given group of people let's do what we can with that and yeah. you know I, and attack at that point and try to change mm -hmm. dynamics like immediately uh, yeah. like the not postponing but it, it's i think it you know, does have a lot of danger, danger towards some tribal aspects or towards a small crowd of people who will be in and through experiences of like accomplishing things in some cases you know in terms of temporary disruption sabotage who will be you know doing like meaningful mm -hmm. you know meaningful like, work quote unquote of it yeah and that and, and just you know, in terms of through a degree of like repression of it will all right i mean are, are going to sort of bond and be you know in terms of even further of it but it seems that it, many most cases of individual in you know, the affinity groups of that seems 
doesn't have as much potential to spread. I mean, a sense mm. of the together since we, we both yeah. don't believe in that propaganda of the deed. Um, yeah, yeah. Which I'm not too big on that. I mean, if other people want to do, I'm not going to yeah. stop them. I just like, you know. But it doesn't, but, yeah. But I, I question yeah. the mass effects of it. Like, uh, yeah. I don't, it's not that I have any moral problems right. with what could be called propaganda of the yeah. deed. I just, you know. Like, but it, yeah, it, seems, it seems empirically that it, it doesn't in sp- mm-hmm. spread. You know, like, uh, uh, do, 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 where is it? I mean, it, like we're... McKinley got killed by an anarchist, but like we still have the U.S. Yeah, you know, like so. Yeah. I mean, the, yeah, the problem that any individual, I mean, it's individual things that aren't going to do enough against the structure, and if the other side, yes, having more guns. So, but it can be a tricky, mm-hmm. a tricky thing. But I mean, that's why it seems that basing it like on the. Um, field field of work and connection of it. I mean that. Yeah, you know, I mean the fact that general strikes you know, like have happened. I mean, I think. Yeah. I, I mean, it, uh, yeah, it's definitely I mean, a real thing. <laughs> uh, in some ways, even that itself, it's a pretty. I mean, fairly you know, incredible. Uh, you know, you know, incredible sort of connections uh, that be formed, and, and also, I mean, it seems. I mean, it gives your sort of people the ability to like. I mean, occu- ways to, you know, in terms of shut down space, shut yeah. down space by leaving it, sh- or like, I mean, sit down strike, I think, becomes a, mm-hmm. I mean, very interesting uh, expansion yeah. of that, both pr- both practically and even just like the ideology that you can get from it that is not, you know, making it, making it clear that this that this is about seizing and alter and altering and mm-hmm. stopping groups of groups of, uh, of of work. Within that, I mean, it seems, it seems that in some ways that leaves like the widest angle of the, the, the widest sphere of action. Hmm. I, I'd say, I mean, I mean, of course, I think, uh, I mean, truly, I mean, in terms of revolutionary union movement, it would also need to be taking people to, I mean, you know, to be using like many of the things that get done as now is like, you know, see like insurrectionary type you know, in terms of like tactics or mm-hmm. con- in direct confrontation with police, um, mm-hmm. fighting, in terms of fighting back of it, you know, acting against the symbols of the system as a whole, yeah. as it would be others. But I think people, if, 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 in a sense, if you're doing that while well, you're also on strike from your job, I mean, oh, all, yeah. all, all the better. I mean, all, all the more impact. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I obviously. Yeah support strikes <laughs> any chance we get to strike like i'm saying let's do it you know because well, like at this point it's like you know the, the way i see strikes um and like one strike opposed to like general strike or whatever um you know if we can get better wages in healthcare, like mm-hmm. yes let's do it but like even if like that's not in the context i'm still gonna say hey let's go on strike because like everything about the capitalist system is literally bankrupt you know like it's not working for any of us so like um you know outside the reform aspect like for revolution like we should always be pushing for a strike just because capitalism you know like our labor is exploited that should be reason enough to like try to organize constant like strikes or like you know demonstrations where oh hey everybody take off work you know so you might not actually have to strike as like workers in a particular factory but like if you can get enough people to call off work effectively that is a strike that that yeah. is a mass of people you know refusing to work in order to you know demonstrate and like come together to figure out you know what we want to do how we're going to end capitalism and stay and all the other bad things you know yeah and, and i think it's part of that plays in the own view of it is that, i mean like that disruption you know is sometimes it's like extensively as possible um i mean becomes useful because i mean i think partly what it was most common you know isn't you know it isn't like a uh, pollyanna you know naivete about you know you know grandeur of capitalism i mean I guess there's still a few objectivists, you know, probably in terms of uh, masturbating to Atlas Shrugged Part Two, you know, at the <laughs> at the given moment of it. But for the most part, that's not that's not that's, that's not generally people. Uh, and uh, I, I, I don't I, think I, those people have jobs. I think and, they. And, just... and I continue to love the fact 
that the Atlas Shrugged Part 2 was made despite the first uh, installment in the series being extremely unprofitable. Um, yeah. Thus, 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 thus in great. itself, be proving the ideology. But for the most part, I mean, <laughs> it, I mean, it becomes like fatalism. It becomes, mm-hmm. it becomes a sense of it. So that's, that's why I tend, I tend to think that, you know, in terms of, you know, disruption, um, I mean, seizure, seizure of public space, uh, mm. transformation of public space, trans- you know, in terms of impacting upon, you know, transportation nexuses, you know, et cetera, are, you know, in terms of you know, are valuable because you know, I mean, force force people's attention and mm-hmm. and and show you know the non inevitability of this that actually you know yeah it comes changed um, but I think it's but it's just the, I mean I, I, I think so if it were in terms of possible of it you know, the current mode of just simply you know, like act and effectively like see, you know seize and hold you mm-hmm. know, in terms of crucial like, areas of it I mean. It, Probably put more, more emphasis on that, but I, I guess it seems that that's just logistically so heavily weighted against it that um, you know, in terms of you can't, you know, I mean, in terms of the, uh, the side that has the police and army and capital of the world of it, yeah. are going to make uh, you know holding an actual, you know, actual you know, space for extended periods, you know, very mm-hmm. difficult. And, and taking it sort of temporarily is also, I mean, like great. But mm-hmm. if you go back, if it goes back to it normal by the next day, um, the over the impact is more limited yeah. but, but, but uh, so, I, I do yeah. like the idea e- even like if like things only happen temporarily like um and this is kind of like you know something that may be out of the coming insurrection or whatever great mm-hmm. book um the idea that like you know these these things happen kind of like um as glitches within like power or like the state and capital and authoritarianism you know things like that so like um if these like kind of glitches happen um then like we can build a practice out of these glitches so like instead of having like you know grandstand you know full-blown revolution it's more like um a series of like constant interruptions that like you know will inevitably attack empire and like empire will like have no other choice but to disintegrate so I, and and i think it is like the building off of practice whereas like you know even if like a certain action is really small or short-lived or you know the police and the feds crack down hard um i do think it's like important to like particularly pay attention to like when small things like this like happen in a kind of series hmm. yeah I just to give a quick definitely yeah i think i think that, yeah they usually can be able to build mm-hmm. to it, and it's also by the, the the sense of like yeah that um, part of why it's sort of like despise both liberalism and like vanguardist Marxism mm-hmm. and since then both there's some notion of like the need to like wait in, di- in different in their different patterns yeah. really, the need to like wait and like build up it's like no I mean if uh, yeah liberals I mean, have reform and you know certain Marxists have conditions yeah. or whatever <laughs> I mean it's yeah I think it's but it's, but it's capitalism it, like yeah, I was saying well, earlier it, there's always the condition to go on strike be- right because capitalism we yeah. fight you know <laughs> and I think because of, and with that since I mean, yeah, I mean, since strikes, you know, every strike that gets ne- noticed, you know, becomes, you know, as a as a more collective collective process. I mean, that it, that mm-hmm. because it's as you know, as the group of workers. I mean, even and I, and I think that yeah, even in the most uh, you know, professionalized, top down, you know, unions. I mean, they don't, don't entirely manage to avoid that fact that I mean, that's that's why I think the most uh, you know useless unions you know aren't, aren't the ones that like lead strikes badly they're the ones that never strike I mean that, yeah. that, that, that's why I think it becomes a very like, clear-cut standard of like to what extent you know, in terms of existing structure is like relevant or useful to useful to the most of the people involved mm-hmm. um, but I think yeah I mean, just because you know it, it gives a Power, you know, like powerful impact, um, you, including I mean, jobs of it, which are you know, you, yeah, even in one's remote from production, still become like specialized enough and so like central enough to be to be to be able to able to have you know immediate altering of space by walking out by walking out is I don't know yeah I think I, I'd be hmm. Yeah, I'm just sort of repeating myself a bit, but like, yeah, like wider, is like wider terrain, terrain of study that, that, that um, I, mean, the, I mean, in some cases, even the fact that, uh, well, it's one of their dangers, I think it seems like, there's some variants of anarchism or some, or individuals within the given variants have, is mm-hmm. you know, sort of like a tight on themselves the back for being more radical than, than others. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, I think sometimes, you know, by no, no, no means always, I mean, it can be a sort of tendency to, 
prioritize, you know, like non-reformist yeah. gr groups of it and mm -hmm. things that become seen, you know, in terms of alienate from other people who could be in terms of allies mm -hmm. and that way. So, um, no, I, I guess if I want to even like backpedal that, I think that seems a more you know, harsher criticism than it was. And I do, and I do feel, I mean, I would rather have like a, a small, you know, crazy, um, <laughs> you know, like, you know, wing, wing nut uh, <laughs> arm, arm of it, uh, to, you, to use a phrase, uh, for, you know, in terms of it, that, then ones of it that like, you know, in terms of try to appeal and like, and if you're trying to, 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 to like soft pedal or, you know, in terms of that outreach should be like the, re you know, respect, respectable, more reasonable, yeah. re more, more reasonable, more uh, populist form of anarchism. Well, you're doing something wrong. You're, you're, you're well, kind yeah. of, I mean, like, you, you're never uh, but, going to appeal to everyone. I mean, and the people who like try to do that, like who try so hard not to alienate the quote unquote masses, just end up forming like, you know, five different factions of a Marxist Leninist party in one city. Yeah, where it's like, where, yeah. where's that going to get you? You know, you're, you're so concentrated on not alienating anyone that you're, you're not actually doing anything to alienate anyone. You're yeah. just like constant bickering or whatever, but. Um, yeah, um, yeah, uh, yeah. I think yeah, so wrapping up soon, but I think yeah, I think that, I think that uh, it seems that I mean I like about sort of like uh, the, I mean the you know strike in terms of the strike specifically of it and like the union in the sense of it is that it becomes actually like extremely radical mm -hmm. and it's an extremely disruptive thing that is not generally seen as that radical that disruptive mm -hmm. I, mean, yeah. it, it, I mean it, it, it seems that you also sort of starting from where uh, we're at i mean that even though a lot of people's sense of like a union home you know gets applied sort of union as a sort of external third party that will defend their current conditions rather than mm -hmm. you know rather than challenge them altogether is it's kind of problematic but it's um that you know that still is a like as a, like a baseline of that can connect to sense of justice and, and so even within that is you know, flawed and corrupt structures are. I think there's even the possibility within there to like, in some senses, of what people would naively ex sort of expect union to do has like no commonality with what becomes possible under current, you know, in terms of uh, individuals most involved in them and the structures that enable them. But there's no, you know, in you know not. In but they're still in that you know, the, the you know, potential for you know, sort of connecting a lot more and. Mm -hmm. And of, and of necessity, you know, in terms of increasingly challenge, you know, sort of challenge, challenging employers that are, you know, sort of the basis of um, conditions of work. All right. Well, I don't think we're necessarily okay. I don't think necessarily either of us have you know persuaded the other, persuaded the other of the good point, but I think it was yeah. you know it was an, an interesting having kind of given exchange. Yeah. Um, any final thoughts or uh, final words? Um, eat your fruits and vegetables and don't talk to the cops. <laughs> That's all. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> all right. Uh, so again, uh, thanks to everyone listening to this, either live or in the archives. Um, again, it uh, will be at intermission for several weeks, but expect that Size of Thoughts will resume with original content on, in some cases, you know, very different themes and possibly you know, similar similar ones again uh, starting uh, January eighth. Um, you know, in terms of, you know, in terms of happy holidays and death to capitalism. Yep. Yeah. Thank you.